The first one is black. The next one is red. And then after that, we have this blue right here. Here's the blue. Then after that, we have yellow. And after yellow, we have white. After white, we have green. And then after green, we have another blue. And then after blue, we have yellow. So this is how I have the receiver wired on my quadcopter. Make sure you have your hot and ground connected properly on your receiver. Yours might be reversed compared to how mine is. Um, if you get these two backwards, you could fry your receiver, and that wouldn't be a good <laughs> wouldn't be a good thing. Um, so how I have it is I have my red in the middle, and then I have my black at the end. And there's three pins to connect. I just put my red in the middle and my black at the end. And then the rest of your wires you could just plug in randomly and set it up through open pilot. It really shouldn't matter because I just put my blue in one, yellow in two, white in three, green in four, and this blue in five, and this yellow in six. So you shouldn't have an issue with that. All of these follow the brown, red, yellow pattern and right there will be a little arrow pointing that way and if your arrow is pointing that way connect them with this pattern with the brown facing farthest away from us and the yellow facing closest to us and just plug them in order from one, two, three, and four as how you would have your prop set up. So if you had prop one over on that side, this one would be prop one. If you had prop one over that side, this would be prop two. If you have prop three right here, this would be prop three. And if you have prop four, this would be prop four right here. Okay, once you have downloaded and installed Libre Pilot, open it up and you should be brought to a screen that looks like this. The first thing you want to do is take your USB cable and plug it into the computer. Once you plug it into your computer, your board on your quadcopter should light up. And once it's lit up, it should show a connection. And it shows that we are connected. So to begin the setup process, we hit Vehicle Setup Wizard. And please read this. Make sure you move all propellers from the vehicle before proceeding because there'll be a part in the setup where the motors will be at full throttle. Hit next. Um, usually you could hit erase all settings and upgrade. I already did that. Um, you can do that too. Um, so click upgrade and erase all settings. And once in a while you might get an error that says cannot connect to the board or uh, some components missing. Um, the best thing to do is just to unplug the USB cable, close out of Libre Pilot, reopen Libre Pilot, and then as soon as your Libre Pilot is open, then plug in the board. And that should fix that problem if you ever run into it. All right, hit the next button. And uh, this is the board that we are using. Hit next. The way that I have my board set up is that I'm using uh, one cable per channel. Um, if you're using one of these, uh, you could just click on them and select the one that works for you. Um, if you select the wrong one, you will not get any information from the computer to the quadcopter. And it can be frustrating if you can't figure that little piece out. But if you are connecting multiple cables to a one or two multiple channels, this is the one you want to use. Hit next. And we are using a multi-rotor. Hit next. 
Um, this is the configuration that I use. So one, two, three, four. Hit next. And my ESC is a 490 hertz. So click on it, hit next. And then I'll give you a little summary of what you got. Hit next. And now there's a sensor calibra calibration. Uh, make sure that you're on a level table or a flat plane before you click this button. Make sure you don't move anything or bump the table where your quad is. Hit calculate. Once the calculation is done, hit next. And then make sure that you have your propellers off. It pretty much tells you that right from the get go. Um, so just hit all of these little check marks. And then before you hit the start button, plug in your battery to your quadcopter. And then hit start. And then hit stop just to see if any of your motors are moving. If you have a motor that isn't moving, but your other ones are, all you will need to do is just unplug a couple of your connections and then reverse them around because they might have got switched up somehow. And that should take care of that issue if the motor is not running. Hit next. And still make sure that you have your propellers off your quadcopter. Hit next. Now, here's the part where we calibrate each motor individually, or if we want to, we could calibrate them all at the same time. I never had luck doing it at the same time because I have one or two motors that are slightly faster and slightly slower than the other two. So we'll start by sliding, or hit and start, and then sliding our fader over until our motor starts to move. Okay, mine is moving. And then we just want to get it to where it's moving slow enough and well enough. Where the motor sounds good. Where it's just barely moving, but it's moving at a nice speed. All right, that's where mine is. Hit stop. Then move to the next one. Hit start. Slide your fader up until it starts to move. And then find where the sweet spot is where it sounds like it's moving good. But not too fast, it's just, just where that neutral zone is. Next, start. Next. And next. And then if you have a quadcopter that looks like one of these, you could use these settings, but um, I do not have a quadcopter that is in here. So all I will need to do is just hit next using current tuning. And then the configuration is ready to save, so all we need to do now is just hit save. Okay, now my favorite part is the transmitter setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on a transmitter and then we're going to hit transmitter setup wizard. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to follow the instructions that are stated here. Hit next. And this is pretty much what I'm using. Hit next. Um, oh, yep, that's exactly what I'm using. Here's other modes if you like your setup a little differently. But I use mode 2. Hit next. Now it's going to want us to move our controller up and down. And then it's going to want us to move left and right on that side, just shown in the picture. And up and down again. And then left and right are the little yaws. And then if you have your flight mode trigger up here, or even if it's one of these, you could just move that. Um, my controller is relatively simple and I don't have all those extra features, but if you do, you can configure it the same way as we configured our controls. 
but I don't, so I'm going to hit next or skip. And I don't have either one of those, so next or skip, next or skip. And now we have to make sure that our controllers are perfectly centered before we continue on to the next step. Once your controls are centered, hit next. And now it wants us to move them around to make sure that they are working like they should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, they seem to be reading well. So then what we do now is hit next. And it's going to sh ask us if we have the right settings or not. So I'm going to move up and down first with this controller. And it seems like that is correct. Now I'm going to move left and right. So that is backwards. So let's see here. Let's let go left and one right. Or yeah, I should say left or right. Up and down. Or my throttle up and down. Left and right. That is correct now. So let's go left and right on the right side. Oops, that's backwards. So now my pitch up and down is correct. Let's see your roll is looking good. All right. So everything looks like where it should be. Excellent. So once your controllers are where they need to be, hit next. And then it says you have completed this wizard. Please check below, making sure everything works like it should. Yep, everything works. And then hit next. Um, this is one thing that took me a while to figure out. Every time I disarmed my quadcopter and then tried to rearm it, it wasn't arming. Um, you want to change this to zero right away because I like to arm my quadcopter instantly. And I like to arm it yaw right. And it should arm it. But before we do that, we should hit save first. Now let's try it. Armed. And the computer will say armed. And then you could move your throttle up and down and then control your quadcopter. And then to disarm it, it's usually yaw to the left. And now it's disarmed. Now that that is set up, we could go to our output. And if anything you want to change, you can. I like my outputs where they are usually right here. Here's our stabilization. Um, and here's your setup banks. If you have your controller set up to change them relatively quick. Um, usually, I keep mine at default because it's actually pretty good where they have it from the way my quadcopter is set up. Um, you could just take this fader right here for attitude and slowly slide it to the right. And the more and more farther right you go, the more snappier or insane it gets. And then hit save. And we could also mess with this stuff, but I really have no need to. And then if you have a gimbal, you could set that up real quick with your controller and control it that way. But I usually just have my gimbal automatically level. And that should be it. Your quadcopter should be ready to fly and enjoy. And before you disconnect the USB, make sure to hit save. Everything should be saved already. Yep. And then hit disconnect. And now it should be safe for you to unplug your USB.